Our game today comes to you from the Emerald City, Seattle, Washington. We're nearing the midpoint of the season, and it's been a great year so far. It looks like that trend will continue today. Each of these teams hoping to gain momentum as the Texans get set to take on the Seahawks. Both teams eager to get today's action started, so let's go to the field. Hamilton is back and ready to put this one in the air. He got all of it, and it sails out of the end zone. The offense just about ready to go as they take the field for their first possession. It's first and ten. Stringer, the lone back. Direction. Jennings is there for the tackle at the 29. When your offensive line is getting a good push up front, it's a lot easier to pick up yardage on the ground. Ball on their own 29. Ball on the 29 yard line. The Seahawks with a four man front. Pressure coming, throws it, and he fails to hang on to that pass falls. I don't know what happened there. The quarterback did his job delivering a catchable ball. He just couldn't come up with it. Third and one. Ball on the 29 yard line. They line up in the I formation. He gets the count. Fakes the handoff. Rowing. Pass falls incomplete. He fires the pass, but it's overthrown. I don't think that guy could hit the water if he fell out of the boat. Nothing happening for the offense. They're forced into a three and out. Fair catch called for. Fair catch made at the 25 yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 25 yard line. They soft, man. On the ten. Score in the backfield. Pass play here on first down. Under pressure with the pass. Lewis is there on the stop at the 50-yard line. Arman appears to have sustained an injury and will make his way to the sideline under his own power. Ball on the 50-yard line. Houston comes out in a 4-3. Number 16 with a man in motion. One of us will make a play. Keep moving. Hand off to the tailback. Number 55 is there for the tackle at the 49. Mixon runs with passes, keeps the defense on it. Ball right around midfield. Ball on the 49 yard line. I'm coming through, baby. Here we go. The Texans with a four man front drops back with the throw. Intercepted. They were in his own defense in perfect position to make the play. They let it get away. Third and nine. Ball on the 49 yard line. Yeah, you see Keep your eyes up. Let's go. Only one man in the backfield. Deep throw. What a catch. Buckley is there for the tackle at the eight-yard line. That was the coverage he was looking for, and he sends it deep downfield for the long completion. Eight is the magic number right now. There we go. 
Houston goes with a four-man front. Hands off to the tailback. Number 55 comes up to make the play at the six. Can't get the blocking they need, and now it'll be second down and goal. It's second and goal at the six-yard line. The injury sustained earlier was minor, and they expect him to return to the game after a series or two. Cross play to the left. Pulls him. Black is there for the tackle at the eight. No gain on that play as the linebacker slipped in almost unnoticed. Yeah, he did a great job getting in there. He was looking for the run before they even snapped the ball. It's third and goal at the eight-yard line. The Texans come out on a nickel pack. With the throw, he hits his receiver. McFadden is there on the stop at the six. drives get some sort of points for your team. They got it done on that drive. I'm sure they'll think a touchdown for their next one. Hamilton comes in to kick off. Nice kick. Plenty of distance. This one is taken by number 85. Nothing happened for the offense on their last drive as they went three and out. Harmon is back in there after getting taken out with an injury earlier. Montgomery with split backs. Witherspoon comes up to make the play at the 20 yard line. Stringer puts the handoff on the delay, brings it ahead for about a yard. Second and 10. Only one man back. Looking upfield, Oliver is there on the stop. At the 22, Oliver is the injured player on the field. So they're coming out for this next play, so we'll find out what the story is. So they dug themselves into a hole here, a long third down situation. The defense lines up in the neck. Crosses it out to the left. Runs through the tackle. Back breaking free. The 40. Number 35. Records the tackle. As he got around the end, he just turned it on. I tell you, that was one heck of a play. This guy's always dangerous anytime they get him the ball. And he darn near took that one all the way for the score. First and 10. Ball on the 48 yard. Everything you've got. The Seahawks with a four-man front. Wayne moves in motion. Give it to the halfback. Number 76 is there for the tackle at the 48. One thing these guys don't want to do is give up in a running game. Because if they do that, they become one-dimensional. And that plays right into the defense's hand. Ball at about midfield. The Seahawks come out in a 4-3. A little misdirection. Baja Villamila drags the ball carrier down behind the line. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition. Ball on the 49-yard line. So an update now on the injury. It doesn't appear to be anything serious, and his return is probable. They're 
coming with the blitz. With the pass, incomplete pass. He somehow got that pass off. The play didn't work because the quarterback's timing and balance was off. When he starts to feel pressure, he gets a little nervous, and he has to get rid of the ball. Warner is back to receive this pick. This one goes out of bounds. First and ten. Ball on the 16 yard line. Out of the eye formation. Nothing. We don't get nothing. Pass play here on first down. Rowing. And he makes the grab. The 30. Wilson is there for the tackle. At the 37 yard line. A powerful arm brings them a first down this time. Yeah, and you talk about putting some heat on your throws. This guy really let it go. Ball on their own 37. Ball on the 37 yard line. The Texans come out in the 4 3. They'll bring the blitz. With the throw, the defenders got it. The 40 has room. The 30, the 20, the 10. Dives, touchdown. A spectacular interception and return for a touchdown. Comes in to attempt the point after. The extra, extra point, point attempt, attempt is good. good. Most quarterbacks in this league have short memories when it comes to interceptions. They have the confidence to keep throwing the ball. And many times, they come back and make an outstanding play. Leckler looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. This one is handled by Warner. The defense made a great play the last time on the field, intercepting a pass and taking it back for a touchdown. Oliver is back in there after getting taken out with an injury earlier. Houston goes with a four-man front. Here they come. Short pass to the fullback. Jones on the reception. Loss of two on the play. Ball on their own 18. Ball on the 18-yard line. Come on. Do something. Do something. The Texans with a four-man front. He tucks it away. Number 55 is there on the stop. Now they got to keep going at it. They can get that defense tired and on its heels, these games will get longer and bigger as the game goes on. So that play goes for about six. Third and seven. Ball on the 23 yard line. With the throw, he hits his receiver. The defender goes down. They'll spot this one at the 44-yard line. He got in there and made the tackle his fourth of the game. Big chunk there, 21 yards on third down. First and 10. Ball on the 44-yard line. All right, let's go. Watch this. Out of the eye formation. Closing in. Gets rid of it. Swings it out to the fullback. Harmon is the guy who's there to bring him down. He found a soft spot in the coverage, John. The receiver did a great job reading the coverage. He found a hole in the zone, and the quarterback found him in that hole with the pass. Ball on the 48-yard line. Houston lines up in a 4-3. Jones comes in motion. Drops back. Gets the pass off. 
and he goes out at the 50-yard line. Back to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. Forty-six yard line is the spot they have to get to to convert on this third down play. Houston comes out in a four-three, hands it off, play action. With the throw, he hits his receiver. Wilson comes up to make the play at the thirty-eight. Great throw to beat the zone. I tell you, the defense has to do a better job of coming up and clamping down on the receiver whenever he enters their zone. First and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. Hey, where's the ball? Out of the eye formation. No stop, no stop that motor. They'll bring the blitz. Gets rid of it. Buckley makes the tackle at the 27-yard line. He's always very composed in the pocket, John. Nothing rattles him. Yeah, when you talk about guys that can handle the pressure and find the open receiver, this is the kind of guy you're talking about. We've reached the end of the first quarter, and the score is 7-3. Texans. The teams has switched sides, and we'll start the second quarter. First and this is the eighth play of this drive. 27-yard line. Houston comes out in a 4-3. Watch the snap now. Come on. Going to the air on first down. Throwing. This pass is incomplete. He was pressured as the defense forced the issue. Yeah, and that's something the defensive coordinator mentioned in practice this week. Making the quarterback throw the ball before he's ready to throw it. Ninth play of this drive. Ball on the 27-yard line. The Texans come out in a 4-3. Oh, yeah. A little misdirection. Great move to get free. Arman is there on the Four. stop. With the Gore, running hard, Seven going nine. right through the arm tackles. And this is the tenth play of this drive. Let's see what they can do in the red zone. They kicked the field goal the last time they were in the red zone. Phillips makes the tackle, but it's beyond the marker, so they pick up a first down. So after that run, we can see how the two main threats on the ground have fared so far. 11th play of this drive. They're inside the 20. One back. Here we go, baby. The Texans line up at a 4-3. Grant is there for the tackle at the 14-yard line. Gore battles his way forward for what appears to be a two-yard pickup. They're inside the 15. Houston goes with a four-man front on the carry. Stroud comes up to make the play at the 12-yard line. The defensive tackle surged through the line to bring the runner down. They're 12 yards away from the end zone. From the start, from the start. The Texans come out in a nickel package. Floats one into the end zone. That's just great positioning by the defender. He has his eyes in the backfield the whole time. He was right there to break the play up. It's Gerald. Was his intended target. Time. Looking to make a good kick here. The attempt is good. That field goal is his second of the day. Each play you run on offense tires out the defense a little more. When you can put together that many plays in a row, it gets you into scoring position. This time, it got him three. This one is handled by number 85. Both teams have played pretty well so far. It's still anyone's game. Oh. 
first and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. The Seahawks come out in a 4-3. With the throw, number 92 is there on the stop at the 28. It brought the heat, but it was a good throw by Montgomery. And that's a heck of a pass. He's got those big old defensive linemen flying right at him, and he showed great composure making the right read and hitting his receiver. The Seahawks line up in a 4-3. Throws it. It's batted away. He needs to do a better job putting the pass on the spot where only his guy can get it. Those tip passes can turn into interceptions pretty easily. Taylor was the intended receiver on that play. Third and two. Ball on the 28 yard line. The Seahawks come out in a 4 3. Looking for room. Setting up play action. Pressure. The veteran slips in there and gets the sack. So you still got to give him a lot of respect. His moves haven't diminished that much, and he still makes impact play. <laughs> Nothing happening on that drive, and they'll punt it away. He's waving for the fair catch. No one has really taken control so far in this one. It's still anyone's game. They'll take over at the 40-yard line. First and 10. Let's go, beat you. Houston goes with a four-man front. Black gets right in there and brings him down. They did a good job swarming to the ball and stopping that play. That's always what you have to do to the run. You have to get penetration. You have to get in their backfield before they can get started. And that's exactly what they did. Second, Second down, and he needs 15 for the first. 35 yard line. Gore, the lone setback. Pressure coming. Pass ball's incomplete. John, he rushed that throw. And you should credit the defensive line. They do a nice job tying up the blockers and could bring pressure up the middle. When you combine their play with the fact that the defensive coordinator likes to bring additional blitzes from the outside, it can make for a very long day for the quarterback. Houston comes out in their nickel package. Long throw. Incomplete pass. He just flicked his wrist right. and the ball and just took off. Just need to take a little bit off of that one. And it could have gone for a big play. Right. Was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Right. Unable to get anything going on that series. They'll have to punt it away here. From the 29. The momentum has been going back and forth so far. This one looks like it's going to be a close game right till the end. It's first and ten. Start the drive at the 35-yard line. First and ten. The Seahawks come out in a nickel pack. On the carry. James is there on the stop at the 43. The defense has to make some adjustments. They aren't even slowing them down. I think about using a little more eight-man front up there. Second and two. Ball on the 43-yard line. Let's go. Let's go, D. Let's go. Only one man back. Boy, the counter play. Bullocks. Comes up to make the play at the 49. Johnny had a guy right there in his face, but made him miss. Yeah, he just kind of moved out of the way. You know, some runners have a sense that tells them what to do with their arms. And he's using his arms very well. The Seahawks with a four-man front. Gained it off to the back. Great fake with the pass. Leaf to the wide receiver. James is there on the stop at the 42. 
Wayne didn't have much room to do anything with that one. Yeah, they had the coverage, and they made the sure play instead of trying something fancy, like going for a pick. Ball on the 42-yard line. Ball on the 42-yard line. The Texans come out with four wide receivers lined up tight. Gets rid of it, and it's caught. The 20, 5, touchdown, Houston. When you get this kind of execution, you got a great chance of making a big play. Watch it here as everyone takes care of their assignment. The pass is thrown where the receiver can make the best play in the ball, and it's six points. The point after is good. So following that touchdown, the score is 14-6, Texans. He's just about ready to kick this one away. This one is taken by Warner. The offense couldn't get anything going on their last drive, going three and out. Ball on their own 20. The Texans come out in a dime package with the throw, almost picked off. Number 55 had his hands on it. I think he was invisible out there, wasn't even seen. And that's a break for the offense. Second and 10, ball on the 20 yard line. Out of the eye formation. Drops back. Gets the pass off. Pass ball's incomplete. He was his intended target. As they get ready for this third down play, we'll take a look at how they've done today. They've done very well on third down to this point. Throwing. Picked off. The 30. I'll tell you, it's very important to have pressure on the quarterback. What that does is make the secondary job a heck of a lot easier. And on that play, they will do an interception. So they're ready to go on offense after the interception. They'll start at the 20. They'll make this a two-possession game if they get into the end zone on this drive. They're just inside the 20. The blitz is on. Gets rid of it. He hits his receiver. Number 92 is there for the tackle at the 15-yard line. Beat the blitz, decent game. He never seems to rush back there in the pocket. He takes his time, finds his man, and puts it right on the money. Second and five. Ball on the 15-yard line. They've had some big plays that have resulted in touchdowns, but this is their first time they've been inside the 20-yard line. And off to the tailback, Witherspoon comes up to make the play at the 11-yard line. Now let's have a look at what our runners have done up to this point. They're 11 yards away from the end zone. The Seahawks with a four-man front. With a counter play. This one will be spotted at the six-yard line. It's three tackles so far for him today. Teams run in the middle about 80% of the time, and that's inside the tackle. So you have to be able to have some success doing it. This time, there was no problem getting it up in there. Here we go. Don't stop. Don't stop that motor. Turn it up. 
The Seahawks come out in the 4 3. Intercepted in the end zone. And he appeared to be fooled by the zone coverage as the timely interception is made by number 92. He's going to have to take more of what the defense gives him, and not try and shoot for a big play so often. First so after the interception, now it's first and ten. The Texans come out with three down linemen and seven defensive backs. It's broken up. A gun lion and the coverage on the play. Two minute warning coming up. The Texans with a four man front. Under pressure, gets the pass off. It's batted away. He has a knack for making a big play. That was another one right there. Almost at the two minute mark now. The defense has had difficulty stopping them on third down. Long throw. Ooh, nearly picked up. Good defense and three and out series are the way to keep your defense fresh and rested. Offense couldn't get it done in the lineup to punt. Won't take a chance trying to return this one. Fair catch made at the 40 yard line. The ball on their own 40. Start the drive at the 40 yard line. First and 10. On the 10, 10. The Seahawks come out in a 4 3. Closing in, looking for the long completion. He couldn't control it. He has the hands to make catches on the toughest passes. I'm a little surprised to see him drop that one. Second and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. Stringer lines up behind his fullback in the eye. Here we go. Oh, they got to find a way to give him a little more time back there. The defense was in man coverage, so he had some options out there in the second half. He just didn't have the time to decide where he wanted to go with it. They're looking now at third and long after the set. They'll go with the quarter defense. Throws it, and it's caught. Number 35 brings him down before he can reach the marker. Watch this hit. He gets his helmet right under his chin, and wham, he takes him straight to the turf. This one where it went out. First, First and ten. Ball of the 34 yard line. The Texans come out in a nickel package. Deucer, deucer. Keep the driver down. They're blitzing. Gets rid of it. Pass ball's incomplete. This defense, John, knows how to create a lot of pressure. Putting pressure on the quarterback can disrupt passes, but pressuring the receivers can do the same thing. If you can play physically on the outside, help them off their routes, hold them up at the line, you can take away his receiving options, forcing him to just get rid of it. 
Houston comes out in a 4-3. Number 16 sends a man in motion. Rowing. He was tipped. He has a great feel for defending the pass, and he always seems to be in great position to make a play in the ball. Here's a look at the third down success rate of each team. Houston comes out with seven in the secondary. Gets rid of it. Right on target to the wide receiver. Seattle calls a timeout. They have two left. the throw and he hits his target. The play. This one will be spotted at the 12. He found the ball carrier to make his fourth stop of the game. Smith. Balls in the pass for a first down. He's picked up both first downs on this series. 12 yards needed to get into the end zone. Bring it up, bring it up. From the start, from the the last red zone trip resulted in a field goal. Defense get ready. The rush is on. Throws it. A gun line comes up to make the play at the five yard line. Here's a no huddle. It's a good way to keep the defense off balance. Pressure. Soft lob to the end zone. Trying for the end zone before halftime. Dropped in the end zone, so the offense still has possession. And that's the last thing you want as a defender to have the ball go right through your hands in the end zone. The offense has been stepping it up on third down all day. Come on. Let's go. Dropping back. Throws to the end zone. Incomplete as the defender knocks it away. Fitzgerald dropped a sure touchdown on that play, John. Usually he's pretty reliable around the goal line. And they really do like to go to him whenever they need a big catch. He just got to do a better job of watching the ball into his hand. So this should be an easy throw. The kick sails through the uprights. And give credit to the kicker there. It's nice to have a guy that can make your drive worth three, even if you don't get in in the end zone every time. Just about ready to kick this one off. Not a good kick, and it'll cost him. Kick off. Number two. Touchdowns and takeaways can really kill a team. Usually, the team with the fewest mistakes out there will win the game. Ball on their own 40. to the tailback. Gene is there for the tackle at the 43-yard line. The defense is trying to shut down the running game early to force him to pass. We'll have to see if it works and causes him to give up on it here in the first half. And this should be the last play of the half. The Seahawks with a four-man front. Hey, watch the screen. Hand it off. Paul is there on the stop at the 47. And this should be the last play of the half. The Seahawks come out in a nickel package. Pressure coming. He can't get away. Great job getting in there to drag the quarterback down. He picks up the sack. And he'll make two or three plays like that in just about every game. It's the end of the second quarter with the score. Houston, 14. Seattle, 9.
Leckler is back and ready to put this one in the air. That one is out of the end zone. The Seahawks will start the drive from the 20-yard line. Ball on their own 20. Only one man in the backfield. Hand off to the tailback. They're going to spot this one at the 23. The tackle is his fifth of the game. This team's always trying to get a good mix of run and pass plays. Ball on their own 23. Ball on the 23 yard line. Gore, the long back. Number 16 sends a man in motion. They give it to the halfback. And Dunlay is there on the stop. And now our viewers can see how successful each team's main running threat has been today. Ball on their own 26. The Texans with a four-man front. With the throw, this one falls incomplete. I'll tell you, the defense made a great stand right there. Taylor is ready to pump this one away. Number 85. Looks like he's ready for the return. This one goes out of bounds. It's first and ten. The Seahawks line up in a 4-3. They'll go with a play fake. Rosen, the defense has it, puts it on the ground. The Seahawks. And he was able to rip that one away from the ball carrier. Reception, they'll set up shot at the 45-yard line. The Texans come out in a 4-3. For the counter play. Ooh, what a stiff one. Branch is there on the stop at the 50. Gore busted through for a few tough yards. Ball at about midfield. Ball on the 50-yard line. Houston comes out in a 4-3. Little misdirection. Number 55 comes up to make the play. A big part of this guy's running style is to use the blockers to set up his cut. But they were nowhere to be found on that run. Third down to convert. They have to get it to the 45-yard line. The Texans come out in a 4-3. Incomplete pass. He felt the pressure and got rid of the ball. That's what the defense has been talking about. Make this guy throw it before he's ready. It's just that little split second early that can cause an incomplete pass or even an interception. So the lineup to punt after going three and out. Fair catch.
Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20 yard line. The Seahawks with a four man front. Gave it off. Work is there on the stop at the 21. The defense held their positions and didn't let them get very far. Second and nine. Ball on the 21 yard line. Yeah, you see me. Stringer, the deep back. Let's go, let's go. They give it to the halfback. Witherspoon is there for the tackle. The best backs in the league average four to five yards a carry. But there are a lot of things that go into a successful running game. you got to have good play calling, good blocking up front, and a back that can take advantage when he sees the open. Ball on their own 26. Stringer, the deep man, receives the handoff. Setting up play action. Gets the pass off. Warwick is the guy who's there to bring him down at the 32-yard line. This is good communication between the quarterback and his receiver to keep the chains moving. They know where the first down marker is, and they recognize the type of coverage the defense is playing. The ball is there, and so is the catch. is there on the stop at the 35-yard line. Stringer runs it for about three on the counter play. Ball on their own 35. Ball on the 35-yard line. Break it up, baby. Let's go. The Texans line up in the bunch for him with the throw. Broken up. He put the ball exactly where you want to put it. Third and seven. Ball on the 35-yard line. The defense lines up in the nickel. Haley comes in motion. Dropping back. Under pressure. Rowing. Can't hang on. Terrible way to end that drive, John. When you put the ball right on the money, you expect it to be caught. When you put it on the money on third down and it's dropped, sometimes that's like a dagger. Leckler comes into the game for the punt. Warner lines up deep for the punt return. And he signals for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 22-yard line. The Seahawks will start the drive at the 22-yard line. First and 10. Gore is the deep back. Dropping back to pass on first down. Fires this one deep. What a catch. Buckley right. is there for the tackle. The at the the is a first I watch this guy play, and I think that's the kind of thing he does best. He reads the defense quickly, finds a single coverage, and lets it fly. He's willing to go long on any down in any situation. So the defense can't afford to be too aggressive out there. Houston goes with a four-man front. Number 16 sends a man in motion. Here they come. Gets rid of it. No completion there. The defense forced the issue that time, John. The guys up front got good pressure, forcing him to get rid of that one before he wanted to. Second and ten. Ball on the 26-yard line. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. It's showtime, baby. They got nothing. To carry it, they're going to spot this one at the 26-yard line. He's able to run down another ball carrier for the seventh time. If they can get it to the 16-yard line, that would be a first down. Houston looks like they're playing the pass as they're lined up in the dime. 
with the pass. He hits his receiver. Good throw there on a first down. Pickup. That ball could have been shot out of a gun with the velocity it had on it. Three minutes remaining in the quarter. The last time they were down here, they settled for a field goal. Closing in. Gets rid of it. And it's complete. This one will be spotted at the 10 yard line. It's his third tackle of the contest. He makes the catch, but for a short gain, maybe three yards. Ten yards away from the end zone. On the ten yard line. As the offense gets closer to the goal line, the defense can tighten up and make it much tougher for the offense to get the ball into the end zone. With the throw, he hits his receiver. It's three times on this drive they've been able to pick up a first down. Yeah, and the thing is, they'll be doing more than just picking up first downs if this success continues. They're going to be picking up some points. First down and goal to go. The offense is going to have to try something different in order to score some touchdowns when they get inside their opponent's red zone. With the counter play, and he's in for the score. Touchdown. This is one of those plays where you let the big guys up front just plow a path right into the end zone for you. Much better to lead by three than two, so they'll keep the offense on the field and try for the two-point conversion. Number 16 sends a man in motion. A little misdirection. The two-point conversion attempt fails. This one is taken by number 85. It's still pretty early, but it's been an even game so far. We'll have to see who can take control on this drive. Ball on their own 20. Stringer, the lone setback. With the counter play. They're going to spot this one at the 23. It's a half dozen tackles. They might not be busting off big games, but those linemen are really working hard down there. Ball on their own 23. Ball on the 23 yard line. Let's go. The Seahawks with a four man front. Throws it. And he lets it slip out of his grasp. And there's not one ride receiver who can ever play him, and he's never dropped the pass. It's just part of the game. Third and seven. Ball on the 23 yard line. The Seahawks come out in a nickel package. On the call, they'll go with a play fake. Rowing, almost intercepted. Wayne was the intended receiver on that play. Jennings with the coverage. <laughs> Nothing happening on that drive, and they'll punt it away. And he chooses not to return this one. This one hasn't been decided yet. Each of these teams have played fairly well on both sides of the ball. So I could see this one getting decided by whoever has the last possession. The 
ball on their own 39. Houston lines up in a 4-3. Number 16 with a man in motion. Hand it off. Black comes up to make the play. Vision is so important to these ball carriers. They got to find the hole and get to it before it closes. There's no hole there, and they got to know that too. If you don't have the vision, you just can't find the hole. Second and one. Ball on the 49 yard line. Hey, watch the screen. The Texans come out in a 4 3. Throws one up in the end zone. Comes that way. Touchdown, Seattle. Great catch for the touchdown. Yeah, he's a veteran receiver, and he knows how to get open in the end zone. Times comes in for the extra point. The extra point attempt is good. Seattle is now up by a touchdown. Just about ready to kick this one off. Nice distance. Of course, the three and out on the offense's last possession. So they have first and ten here. Stringer, the lone back. Pat in motion. Pressure. Throws it. And he hits his target. Bullocks comes up to make the play at the 29. I like the quick decision by the quarterback. The defense didn't have time to react. Picked up 10 yards. Ball on their own 29. Ball on the 29-yard line. Go, 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 go. Stringer, the lone back. He'll bring the blitz. Gets the pass off. Bullocks is there for the second at the 45-yard line. And it's good for a first down. First and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. Blue game, blue game. It's on. Defense, get ready. The Texans line up in trips bunch, launching the pass deep down the right side. He read the single coverage and went for it all on first down. Receiver on the play. Second and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. Play football. We like a pack of wolves. Only one man in the backfield. Throws it. He finds his man. Haley goes down after a minimal game. One yard game on the play. Third down play. They have to get it to the 35-yard line for a new first. They'll go from the shotgun. Johnson, the man in motion. So we've reached the end of the third quarter with the Seahawks ahead of the Texans. 22-14. And we'll start the fourth quarter. Third down play. They have to get it to the 35-yard line for a new first. Stringer, the lone setback. Dropping back. Gets rid of it. The pass was incomplete. That's the third one he's been unable to bring in.
He'll try to pin them close to the goal line. And so the punt goes out of bounds. Ball on their own 15. Ball on the 15 yard line. Houston comes out in a 4 3. He'll pass on first down. Rowing. Drops the interception. Fitzgerald was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Harmon was there on the cover. Second and 10. Ball on the 15 yard line. Gore in the backfield. Gets the handoff on the delay. McFadden is there for the tackle at the 16 yard line. Gore takes it up the middle for a yard or two. Third and nine. Ball on the 16 yard line. The Texans with a four-man front hands it off. Stroud comes up to make the play at the 20-yard line. They played it safe, stayed on the ground, nothing doing. So three and out, and they'll line up to punt. This one goes out of bounds. Flags are down, and this one appears to be on the offense. On the receiving team, on the, the team with the most discipline is the team that doesn't commit stupid penalty. And they're the team that usually executes better. Ball on their own 32. Ball on the 32-yard line. We're talking about win. The Seahawks come out in a 4-3. Gets the handoff on the delay. Witherspoon is there on the stop at the 34-yard line. Stringer battles his way forward for what appears to be a two-yard pickup. Second and eight. Ball on the 34-yard line. Out of the eye formation. Fires this one deep. Nearly intercepted. That was a good play, turned bad play. Good because their zone defense worked well. Bad because he dropped the interception. That's one he wishes he could have back. Third and eight. Ball on the 34-yard line. The offense has had trouble moving the sticks on third down so far. Pressure coming with the pass. Incomplete pass. Scott appears to have sustained an injury and will make his way to the sideline under his own power. Warner back to return. Won't take a chance trying to return this one. Fair catch made at the 25 yard line. The Ball Seahawks on their own 25. Will start the drive at the 25 yard line. First and 10. The Texans come out in a 4 3. With the carry, number 55 comes up to make the play at the 25-yard line. The defensive line has been getting good penetration. They've done a great job of shutting down this running game. So it's second and ten. The injury sustained earlier was minor, and they expect him to return to the game after a series or two. Hey, watch the screen. Danny, Danny, Danny. Hand off to the tailback. 
going to spot this one at the 32-yard line. He's now tackled the ball carrier nine times. The Texans come out in a 4-3. And it off. Drop it in the backfield. For sure. For sure. The third down run, not enough to keep the drive alive, so the punting team coming in. There's nothing wrong with trying to grind it out in the fourth quarter when you're playing with a lead. Very solid defensive effort to force the three and out. He took his eyes off it, and the ball is alive. The Texans are there to pick up the ball. They're able to recover their own fumble and will start shakily this fourth quarter drive with the lead. Ball on their own 33. Ball on the 33 yard line. Watch your arms, eh? No more. Johnson goes in motion. Hand off to the tailback. James comes up to make the play at the 45 yard line. Hey, if you can keep running the ball in the fourth quarter as you're playing catch up, that's an advantage that you have over the defense because it keeps them off balance. through the middle at time five yard pickup Scott goes back into the game after being injured yeah. earlier yeah, you see me. Look, look. Uh -huh. it off to the back they'll spot this one at the 43 he was right there once again and recorded his eighth tackle Pickup of about five that produces a fresh set of downs. Yeah, and the offensive line did a pretty good job picking up the blitz, giving him the extra First time he team. needed to find the hole. On the 43 yard line. You turn it up. Watch it. The Seahawks come out in a 4 3. Dean is there on the stop at the 38 yard line. I'm guessing this is a block in the back. Let's see what the call Number 84. The team has to show discipline and execute properly out there. If they don't, they'll find it's much harder to overcome the other team and get a win. Ball on their own 47. Well, right, well, right. Hey, what's the screen? The lineup of six defensive backs. With the pass, and he makes the grab. They'll swing this one at the 43 yard line. He makes his fifth stop of the game on that play. He took what he was given, completing the pass. Yeah, what you want to do as a receiver who's facing zone coverage is to break into the secondary, find a hole, Second settle down, ten. and show the quarterback your number. That was a good job. The Seahawks come out in a dime package. Throws it. It's going the other way. And that's the defense's third pick of the game. After the defense gets the takeaway, they're now set to go at the 37-yard line. Gore is the deep back. Number 55 is there on the stop at the 33-yard line. He's really not gotten it going on the ground today. Ball on their own 33. The Texans hey, come go. out in a 4 3. Number 60 sends a man in motion. Little misdirection. Runs through the tackle. Wilson comes up to make the play 
at the 39. Gore picks up some tough yards there. Third and long. Ball on the 39 yard line. The Texans come out of the nickel pack. He is certainly no stranger today to the tackle stat sheet. That's number 11 on that play. Well, that didn't cut it. Now they're looking at fourth down. And they made the decision to just keep it on the ground. Take time off the clock, not force anything. This is a luxury of being ahead. Number 85 will go back to accept this punt. So the punt goes out of bounds. Well, it's crunch time now. This might be their last chance. So they have to stay focused, be efficient, and get the ball into the end zone. First and ten. Ball on the 28-yard line. Off the run! Under pressure, throwing. This pass is incomplete. Good push by the defensive line, forcing the incomplete pass. He hung in there. He didn't really have the time that he needed to make the play. The quarterback has to know who his outlet guy is and get the ball to him when he feels that pressure coming. Ball on the 28-yard line. Second right. Montgomery from the shotgun. Dropping back, gets the pass off. Incomplete as the defender knocks it away. And they have to go to the air because they need big plays fast. That's right. You gotta have composure in these situations. Find your receivers that can pick up yardage after the catch. But most importantly, you have to keep the chains moving. Hey! Watch the ball! The Seahawks come out in a dive package. Rolling right, gets rid of it. He can't bring it down in bounds. You know, as a receiver, you have to be aware of so many things. Where the first down marker is, where the defenders are, and where the sideline is as you stretch out to make that catch. That was his intended target. Hey, let's go. Don't stop, don't stop that moment. As expected, they'll go for it here. All day, baby. Get up. Here comes the blitz. Throwing. It's broken up. They go for it and don't make it. That was a conversion the offense needed. They have to be disappointed, and it's worse because now the other team has the ball. First and ten. Ball on the 28 yard line. Will, will, will. Gore, the lone back. It's Gerald. Comes in motion. Hand it off. Keeps his feet. Stroud is there for the tackle at the 23-yard line. Gore with a nice burst through the middle of that time. Five-yard pickup. Second and five. Ball on the 23-yard line. Come on. Back it up, baby. Houston lines up in a 4-3. Pull back handoff. Shakes off the tackle. Lewis is there on the stop at the 13-yard line. They're inside the 15. All on us, y'all. The Texans line up at a 4-3. Going to spot this one at the 10 yard line. It's the fourth stop he's made today. So a pickup of maybe three. They need 10 for the touchdown. Ball on the 10 yard line. Keep moving. Let's set it up, D. Hut, hut, go. 
it off to the back. Ooh, that one will leave a mark. And he was able to create a lot of space on that run, John. Well, it started with some good blocking. And when he got through there, he turned up field, and they weren't in position to tackle him. Two more yards, and they'll be in the end zone. The report now on the injured player the team is indicating it's the type of injury that will take some time to heal, so he is done for the day. He'll just take a knee. It's second and goal at the four yard line. Clear! Clear! Nothing! I don't get nothing! All day, baby! Come on! Hot keep it up! Defense, get ready! Here we come! Don't stop! Don't stop that motor! Not today! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Play hard and fast, baby! He'll take him in. score is Seattle 22 Houston 14 for EA Sports this is Al Michaels and John Madden wishing you a very pleasant good evening